all these things. Um, what did you say? You know what poggers means? Mm-mm. How do you spell it? How do you spell it? Spell it. Where I live? <laughs> no, Which is uh, uh, <laughs> Down to one friendly. But, well, what was that? Oh, sorry. So you said how do you spell what? I don't know, <laughs> whatever you're talking about. Um. Oh, Poggers. P L G G E R S. All streamers say that. P L G G E R S. P O G G E R S. Poggers. Poggers. Why you do that? You. You way back there. We need to locate a bomb. Okay. What? That's you. Nothing. Mm. Who's you? Mm. Drone has located a bomb. My freaking friend. What the heck? This is not this nigga. Ten seconds before insertion. Five yeah, seconds. We're cradles. You found a bomb. Make your way to its location and defuse it. Oh my god, we just had a fucking moment. That's what you need for knowing at first. You were talking. <clears throat> no, stop it. Almost the solar feud in way. This plan we met earlier today. Getting some big L's or poops like that. Never want to play Siege. We have been eliminated. We have Mike. So it's gonna be too easy to do this, bro. Dude, I mean, you you didn't just see this uh, docked 
get up and pound a Kebby. Cause uh, like <laughs> she like she just had him downed and let him get back up and kill her. Other companies we stand with our black employees, Ben and Jerry's. What did Ben and Jerry's do? Look it up. They must have committed something. Black Lives Matter. Sure. Statement? Ben and Jerry's issued a powerful statement calling for access to dismantle white supremacy. Uh, that's the first yeah, statement. right. Statement. Alright, this is what this says. What happened to George Floyd was not the result of a bad apple, it was the predictable consequence of racist and pre. I'm not retarded. Is, it was the predictable consequence of a racist and pre Five seconds before insertion. Pre and prejudice system and culture that has treated black bodies as the enemy from the beginning. Pulse, which leads to the graphic reading, dismantle white supremacy at the top, goes on to detail four critical actions Ben and Jerry supports, including urging Congress to pay to pass HR 40 and echoing George George Floyd's family and calling for the creation of a national task force that would draft the partisan partisan bipartisan bipartisan, bipartisan legislation aimed at ending racial violence and increasing police accountability. The whole post is a very worth reading in full. You can do so. Oh. Well, you can do so. Silence is not an option. All of us have been in Jerry's outraged about the murder of another black person by Minneapolis police officers last week. It was last week? Damn. Yeah, yeah, it's only been a week, bro. Dang. Yeah, dude, That's it's crazy. only been a week, dude. Wow. We have to stand together with the victims of murder, marginalization, and, rep and repression because of this skin color, and with those who seek justice through protests across our country, country. country. Across our country. We have to see his name, George Floyd. George Floyd was a son, a brother, a father, and a friend. The police officer who put his knee on George Floyd's neck, and the police officers who stood by and watched him just murder George Floyd and stole him. And someone from his family, his friends, his church, his community, and from his own future. The murder of George Floyd was the result of inhumane police brutality that is perpetrated by a culture of white supremacy. What happened to George Floyd was not the result of a bad apple. Okay, I just said that. Um, what happened to George Floyd in Minneapolis is the fruit born of toxic seeds planted on the shores of our community in Jamestown in 1619 yeah. when the first enslaved men and women arrived on this continent. Right. Yeah, that's yeah, exactly. That's well put. He's in the spit. What's just going on? Let's set up. Freaking spit in my throat. Doesn't want me to read. Uh, Floyd is the latest in a long list of Jesus. In a long list of names that stretches back to that time and that shore. Some of those names we know Ahmad Al Ahmad Aubrey, Breonna Taylor. Oscar Grant, Eric Garner, Trayvon Martin, Michael Brown, Emmett yeah. Till, Martin Luther King Jr., most yeah. we don't. The officers, who, uh, the officers who murdered George Floyd, who stole from those who loved him, must be brought to justice. At the same time, we must embark on the more complicated work of delivering justice for all the victims of state-sponsored violence and racism. Four years ago, we publicly stated our support for the Black Lives Matter movement. Today, we want to be even more clear about the urgent need to take concrete steps to dismantle white supremacy in all its forms. To do that, we are calling for four things. First, we call upon President Trump, elected officials, and political parties to commit our nation to a formal process of healing and reconciliation. Instead of calling for the use of aggressive tactics on protesters, the, pre the president must take the first step by disavowing white supremacists and nationalist group uh, overly support him. Yeah, it really is mind-boggling 
that like white supremacist groups are just allowed to like exist. Uh, honestly, yeah, that you can thank Trump for that. Like he's he's definitely just allowed that to happen. That's so mind-boggling to me. Like how is this even a thing? Well, uh, basically they're still upset about Obama. That's like honestly a big part of all this. Oh well. Aggressive tactics on the president must take blah 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 blah. And by not using his Twitter feed to promote and normalize their ideas and agendas, the world is watching America just fall. Second, we call upon Congress to pass HR 40 legislation that will create a commission to study the effects of slavery and discrimination from 1619 to the present and recommend appropriate remedies. We cannot move forward together as a nation until we begin to grapple with the sins of our past. Slavery, Jim Crow, and segregation the systems of legalized and monetized white supremacy in which generations of black and brown people paid an, an immeasurable price. That cost must be acknowledged and the privilege that occurred to some at the expense of others must be reckoned with and redressed. Third, we support Floyd's family's call to create a national task force that would draft bipartisan legislation aimed at ending racial violence and increasing police accountability. We can't continue to fund a criminal justice system that perpetrates mass inc incarceration while at the same time threatens the lives of a whole civilian population. And finally, we call on the Department of Justice to reinvigorate its civil rights division as a staunch, staunch? Never heard of it. defender of the rights of black and brown people. The DOJ must also reinstate policies rolled back under the Trump administration, which is consent decrees to curb police abuses. Unless and until white America is willing to collectively acknowledge its privilege, take responsibility for its past and the impact it has on the present, and commit to creating a future steeped in justice, the list of names that George Floyd has been added to will never end. We have to use this moment to accelerate our nation's long journey towards justice and more perfect union. No, that was shit. Yeah. Damn, dude. That was a multiple. It's on point, though. Yeah, they definitely got something to say. Boy, this is a crazy world. That's my friends from high school. I'm really good. Yeah, me too. I still talk to this a lot of them. I talked to like two. That's it. I tried to reach out to one of them. They just never responded. I was like, oh. Yeah, some people, some people, you know, you know some people you ever get there. Okay, that guy. Um, he was the first guy I ever talked to when I first got to the school. I doubt that he's like ignoring me. I'm sure he's probably going through something. I know his sister, and his sister said that um, his their parents got divorced, and she went with his mom. And he stayed with his dad, and I tried to reach out to him to like see if everything was all right. He just never responded. So wherever he's at, I hope he's okay. Yeah. Dude, that's all you can do. Huh? That's all you can do right now. Yeah. Yeah, so... It's about to be right now. Gotta just stay positive, stay healthy, dude. It's good that you get to stay home, like, a fucking... Uh... Yeah. You know. 